And I said something. I said, when I get an idea in my head, when I'm feeling impulsive, there really isn't anything I can do to stop that impulse. And finally, after almost three years, I brought Ghost Rider up to rank five. All right, what's going on, my dudes? So check out this video right here, man. So I went back, back years in my phone to find this recording. It was a lot easier because I had, you know, it's saved in a folder somewhere. However, this is a screen recording of my first ever five-star crystal opening. Look at my top champ a four-star Ghost Rider. I remember being so upset that that picture was gonna leave. Spinning out the crystal, rolling right to Ghost Rider, dude! <laughs> My first ever five-star crystal landed me a five-star Ghost Rider. Look at the old animations, man. The old game with the gold border around everything. Funny enough, I just uh, leveled him up. I put some stick stones in him. And then I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> um, but now we are recording and we're gonna, I, I want to take him up all the way, man. I do. I want to take him up to SIG 200. Um, I never rank five stars anymore, man. Let's just drop all of these guys in here, okay? Because they're gonna get the five stars again. We're getting it from the, uh, the solo events. We're getting it from Cavalier quests, right? And the last time I used these was on Scarlet Witch. And the last time I used them before that was on uh, Ronin. And before that was Guardian, right? Um, I don't use these often. And this was my first ever five star. I want him to be completely maxed out. I just want it to happen. So um, let's see here. Let's get this up to 80 like this. And then get them to 200 like this. I've had these plus fives and plus twos for a very, very long time. So there we go, guys. He was, um, so, oh, he's in this featured crystal, isn't he? Now I'm gonna pull him like five times. I know it. <laughs> oh, I should have left him at like 180 or one. Eh, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. So he gets a big benefit from being a SIG 200, as you can see right here. From the medium ending combo, you gain a burst of 2,617 attack for 7.5 seconds. And now, with the new Cosmic Ghost Rider synergy, you can keep this up for almost the whole fight. So, I'm so excited to make some gameplay with this guy right now. Guys, let's jump right into it. We'll talk about some synergies, because there are so many synergy potentials for this guy. But actually, first things first, look at how high his PI is, man. It's beautiful. Do I see him when I go to maxed? Because that would make me happy. If I just go to max five stars. Oh, dude, he's right there. Right in the middle. Oh, man. I love seeing him up there, man. What if I just reset everything? No, I definitely don't see him. I almost do. It's crazy how Corvus shows up. Oh. All right. Gameplay time. Guys, this team is so good. They synergize so well together. Let's go over all of it, man. So, Ghost Rider right here, <laughs> at his base, he doesn't have much going on, right? But he has some of the most synergy potential in the game. He helps so many champions out. First things first, man, Blade, right? So he gives Blade the danger sense against all villains. That's awesome. You'd always have, like, you know, the Ghost Rider synergy for Blade. That's, that's always there. But... You get plus 50% chance to place a judgment, okay, when you have Blade on the team when you're playing as Ghost Rider. So Blade's kind of required, let's be honest here, okay? There's a new synergy here with Cosmic Ghost Rider here, okay, where is it? Um, right here, gain plus 50% buff duration if you have no judgments active on the opponent, that's what CGR gets. Now CGR gives OG Ghost Rider increased fury buff duration by 100%, all right? That's really, really good. That's really good for Ghost Rider. And now keep in mind, you're also gonna get here from Night Thrasher, increased armor break debuff duration by 35%, and Night Thrasher gains the last hit of a heavy attack refreshes one active taunt debuff on the opponent. That's really good for Night Thrasher. Now, Darkhawk is a great champion. The only downside to him is he has to be SIG 200 
which mine is, and you need the Night Thrasher synergy, ideally, which we have. Now he gets, okay, um, start in a random mode, and Night Thrasher enemies have minus 20% armor rating for each unique debuff on them, that's great for Night Thrasher. And then over here with Ghost Rider, plus 30% power rate against villains, plus 10% critical rating against heroes. That works for Ghost Rider and Darkhawk. And then one more down here, Justice on Wheels, Night Thrasher becomes unstoppable when dashing towards the enemy. And Ghost Rider, the durations of Bleed, Fate Seal, and Damnation are increased by 40%. So Bleed, Fate Seal, and Damnation increased by 40%, and Fury increased by 50%. Sorry, 100%. All five of these champions are great. Man, if I can just get Night Thrasher Awakened, I could take him to rank three, and this would be a banging questing team for fun. All right. Now keep in mind, guys, keep in mind right away that Ghost Rider is not the best champion in the game, okay? So don't expect to see like Cosmic Ghost Rider level attack here. Don't expect to see it. However, like I said, Sometimes with this game, you gotta have fun, all right? And sometimes that fun means ranking up your first ever five star. So now at this point, what I wanna do is go for a heavy attack and now go for the fury now. Look at how long this Fury is, guys. Now we're gonna power drain the opponent. And the Fury, that Fury is not going anywhere, guys. Now you gotta get to a special three to refresh all the judgments. And there probably is a better way um, to go about the rotation. It's been a while since I played this guy, all right? But look at how the Fury, like you used to have to like activate the Fury last in order to like to keep the damage up. Not really anymore, man. With the Cosmic Ghost Rider synergy, not anymore. So check this out. We're gonna bait out a special one. Now watch how long this damnation lasts. Now everything's gonna be reset. This is my favorite special three animation in the game. Used to watch it all the time. So cool. That damnation is gonna be there for a, a very long time. Now it might be smart even possibly to go ahead and activate the fury buff now after you put the damnation on. But look at this, man. Look at this. Look at the power control potential here. This is what I love about OG Ghost Rider. Look at this. You're back up to another special three already. Here, let's power drain him some more. Of course, that was the first one active. We don't have a use for the Fate Seal in this fight, so let's get that up. Now let's put the Bleed on him. Now you'll notice that we're down to 82% health, but let's fix that with some of the best Life Steal in the entire game. What I love about OG Ghost Rider is just the consistency that you get from him. If you play him properly, you're always gonna be at 100% health, and if you synergize him properly, your judgments are pretty insane. Is he the fastest champion in the game? No, I would say absolutely not, actually. I would say he's definitely not the fastest champion in the game. But does it really matter at this point when you're controlling fights this well? And depending on what you need, let's say you were down to like 30% health, 20% health, you can save that, um, that lifesteal judgment for last if you really wanted to. And then you have a really long lifesteal. Look at how the fury buff is just up the entire time now. Let's go for the lifesteal. Into the fury buff. And now he's going to be dead in two seconds. And he got 100% health. Like I said, he's not the fastest, hardest hitting, hard hitting champion in the game. But he's consistent. And that is what I love about him. Let's do some real content with him. All right, man, we're jumping into 6.3.2 here. Um, going for this clapback. It's clapback lane here. Because, you know, we're going to put a bleed on the opponent. 
However, Ghost Rider actually happens to be immune to bleed and now incinerate as well. Okay, so Enhance Bleed, Enhance Fury, Clap Back, Pizza Power, blah, blah, blah. Let's go for some real power here, some real content here, okay? Let's see how well we can control this fight. First things first, I want to throw on the Fate Seal. This is how, you know, we used to manage, right? This is how we used to manage judgments before that fancy Ghost Rider, before that fancy Cosmic Ghost Rider came into play. Got a plan here, hold on. Go for the special two, drain this power now. Don't have to worry about the special two. It's a very quick power drain. Um, that could last longer if we activate it later. However, I have a plan for controlling this guy's regen. Now let's life steal a bit. You know, we ate a combo and look, our health is all the way back up. So now one thing that's annoying about Sabretooth, of course, is his regen, right? Watch this. I'm gonna go for the Damnation now. Now keep in mind, Cosmic Ghost Rider gets a Damnation when he's awakened, and Damnation is incredibly powerful. Because now, he's heal blocked, and he's taking damage. And he can't get any power. So we can kind of do this. Go for the bleed here. Go for the fury into this. Get out the special one. Ah, heavy attack. Get some life steal. Beat out the special two here. We should at least. Ooh, let's see how potent the life steal is. This is the time to check it. This is the time to check the life steal. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. There was like 30% left on the timer for the life steal. And we jumped up to 50% health from like 20%. Now, let's get back up to 100% health in the next fight. This is how I got through Act 5 100% with the rank 4 Ghost Rider back in the day. I did Act 4 100% to get the tier 2 alpha to bring up Ghost Rider to rank 4. And it was a blast, man. Before the days of me having Corvus and Ghost. And Omega. And the other fast champions that I that I love and prefer nowadays. It's gonna go for the Fury now. Heavy attack. Now I used to always do this. Watch this. I used to do the special too. Oh no. Oh, I missed the parry. I missed the parry. All right, let's set that up. Let's set that up again. One second. All right, we're set up exactly the same. Same judgments. We're just doing the heavy attack. We got the fury, and we're at the special too. I'm not going to miss the parry again. Watch the life. That special two brought me up a decent bit, and with no suicides, of course, there's a lot more life steal. okay? You got to remember that the poison, okay, the poison is really making our life steal a lot lower. But I All right, watch what I'm talking about. We're gonna go medium ending combo into parry, into special three, activate the damnation, and then get a really long life steal. And we're gonna go from 11% health all the way up to 100%, even with the suicide masteries, lowering our healing by 30%. Just gotta get a parry. Okay, now after this, to go for a heavy attack. So this is going to give us our damnation, and then we're going to go for the final judgment here, the heavy attack. Just 
watch our health. Can we chain this in the corner? I think we can. Don't want to reset that, so. There we go, from 11% all the way up to 85%. And now at this point, we don't need a long life steal. And we could just do this. And then, wait out this. And reset the judgments once again. So I had a pretty good idea, man. We're gonna take him to 6.2 point two here the sinister chapter and i think he's gonna do really well here um we brought in mephisto instead of dark hawk here that's actually gonna give ghost rider 10 percent more attack but we're gonna take him to a resistor and rage lane i don't know if they all have resistor but king root does but he's gonna be really really good for rage another thing here is there's back blast okay so crit damage is doubled but damage from a critical hit exceeds five percent of the defender's max health or the attacker lands four more guaranteed crits blah 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 incinerate debuff but we're now immune to incinerate so that's pretty cool man but we put on mystic dispersion now okay and we're going to be nullifying a lot of buffs here and we're going to have some fun with that because ghost rider is pretty fun with mystic dispersion so i activated the fury right away because why not now watch this <laughs> oh how about that man Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Wow. Oh, man. How about that, guys? Let's go for one of these. Maybe one of these. Of course, we gotta go for one of these. And we can finish off with one of these. Guys, when there are a ton of buffs, this guy is fun. He's always fun to me, but you can really control the fight with him when there are a lot of buffs. That was awesome. That was so awesome, man. And it really just makes his ramp up so much faster. He is so much fun on Resistor. I don't think there's Resistor on this anymore. There's not. That's all right. That was sick, though. Now the Fate Seal is going to make it so we can't gain any buffs at all. Come on. Let's go for one of these. It's a pretty long uh, power drain there. Let's you hit them when they're like at three bars of power or whatnot. go for the special three here don't got to worry about that pushing him to three bars of power because of the damnation it's going to power lock him right away of course only two percent you know max health because of rage the damnation's doing some pretty semi-decent damage here don't even got to worry about like power control man because yeah this is like where i find ghost rider to be like really good like, honestly, this is where I have a lot of fun with him right here. All right, so this is Plagued Mind. This one's going to be a little bit tougher to deal with, but we can um, we can get around it. Let's activate the Fury right away. 
I actually want to push her. Into her thingy here, but watch this. Nice. Heavy attack, counter. Nice. Now at this point, you know, we'd have to build up to a special three in order to reset the judgments. I don't really think we need to worry about that though. Yeah, this is gonna kill her off. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. All right, let's keep going a bit here. You know, I've never played with Ghost Rider at rank five before. Like I've never taken him up on the CCP server or any other beta server, like just to test and just to see. I've never done it before. So I'm, I'm really having a blast right now. All right, so Medusa here is gonna be interesting. Um, Ah, well, we're gonna have to gain, we're gonna have to gain, oh no! Dang, oh no, oh no! What just happened? Let's try that again. Let's go in just at 40% health, hold on. Those Fury buffs are hard to keep count of. All right, here's what I have to do. We're gonna have to build up to a special one right away. So here's Living Strands. When she gets to two Fury buffs, that should do it. For now, at least. All right, there we go. Got some health back, too. Okay. Man, that parry. That parry got us, dude. I wasn't expecting that to happen. What does Angela have here? Rage Aspect of Nightmares. All right, I'm not sure how much health we have. Let's just jump up a little bit here. Just to be safe. This video's getting a little long. I should probably edit out some of those Realm of Legends fights because um, they were a little long. Okay, let's put the bleed on her. Let's go for this guy. And now, bait out this. Very nice. Now let's go for this. Now we can go for some backdrafts here. This is what I always used to do with him. I used to like use the power drain last and just go for some nice backdrafts. I always felt like really good intercepting with the chain on the medium. And his animations are just so freaking cool. Go for the special three here, activate the damnation, take away all her buffs, power lock her. Like I said, man, He's not the fastest champion in the game, not by a long shot, but the only fight here on this entire path where we've lost any health at all was against that Medusa when we got parried. We got through the entire lane otherwise. Is that it? There's one, there's a Nihilus. So let's go through a Nihilus and we'll end it there. Oh man, a Nihilus. Let's see if we can do this. It's been a while since I fought this guy with anybody outside like Dr. Doom. What has he got? Soft Guard Rage. Psh. Psh. Put the bleed on him. Oh, I see you got some buffs there, Annihilus. Would be a shame if somebody... Oh, no. Oh, cause I can't, oh, I can't nullify him unless I get rid of his rod first. All right, this should do it. It didn't. What happened? 
What is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> I don't really know how a Nihilus works. I'm not gonna lie, man. I have no idea how this guy works, but he is a villain. So for old time's sakes, I'm gonna go in here with some Blade. Which might not work out too well on Rage. I didn't really think that through. When you're using like Dr. Doom against this guy, Nihilus, you really don't have to know like how all of his specific abilities work. That's one problem of using overpowered champs all the time, is that occasionally you have slip ups like this. But yeah, man, I think that's gonna be it for this fun rank up and gameplay video. It's not, it wasn't a just for fun one, man. I mean, this is Ghost Rider on my main account, Stake 200. My first ever five star is finally all the way maxed out. I'm not gonna use him for much, man, but I do feel like this is long overdue. Maybe I could bring him into AQ every now and then, have some fun with him there. Who knows? Only time will tell. You know what, man? This guy is a prime candidate after playing with him today, where his utility is just solid, and he gets through fights very solidly. Super solid. Soup or salad. Uh, I just feel like he's a prime candidate for a value buff, and man, he could be so good if he gets one, so. Crossing my fingers, knocking on wood that that happens. Only time will tell, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, man, it's so awesome to have this guy at rank five now. It's just, it's, it feels long overdue. Very happy to have it. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a like. Comment what you think about rank five OG Ghost Rider at SIG200 in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any possible OG Ghost Rider gameplay coming to you very soon. I'll be seeing you around.